Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we're going over all the steps you need to take to ensure the upcoming Toy Day event is unlocked on your New Horizons island at the end of the month. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. Now, since the winter update that was released a few weeks ago, Nintendo continued to lock upcoming holidays and events behind real world times to basically stop time travelers from experiencing these events too early. It's still unclear why they've decided to take this approach, but it could be as simple as ensuring any bugs or glitches are ironed out. Anyway, the most recent example of this was the Turkey Day event in celebration of Thanksgiving at the end of November, which although was technically in the game since the 1.6 update, wasn't accessible without exploits until the actual date of the event and after a tiny update to activate it. These tiny updates are indicated by a letter as seen here. Of course, with this being the new normal for releasing events, there's no surprise that the upcoming Toy Day event, which is a festive celebration in time for the holidays and scheduled for the 24th of December, is also currently locked behind the real world clock. Now, releasing updates like this and unlocking events accordingly works fine for the vast majority of players and it should install automatically. However, there has been a surprisingly large number of comments, even here on YouTube, of people who couldn't successfully unlock the last event even after the real world time had passed. For example, some players would play the game as normal, gearing up for Turkey Day, only to find the event hadn't started and were unable to participate, therefore not meeting Franklin or earning any new items. It seems this is likely caused by a combination of time traveling or having a different time set or using different profiles and not shutting down the console and things like that. Thankfully though, in light of this, Nintendo have updated their release notes for the winter update and confirmed the requirements that need to be met in order to successfully unlock the next event in hopes of avoiding a repeat of this when the Toy Day event is actually released. So, in order to start the Toy Day event, when the 24th of December arrives in your region, you must meet the following 5 requirements. Number 1. Update If you haven't already, ensure the latest 1.6 update has been installed. To check if the software version is at least version 1.6.0, you can press the plus button on the Joy-Con on the home menu. It will tell you at the top what version it is. Number 2. Nintendo Account You need to link your user profile with your Nintendo account. However, only one resident on the island needs to have an account linked to activate this event. As long as one resident is linked, all residents can participate. Number 3. Resident Services In order to experience the event, you need to upgrade the resident services from a tent to a building on or before the 24th of December. If the resident services isn't upgraded, the event won't start. Number 4. Time and Date Given Animal Crossing New Horizons is linked to the Switch's clock, you need to make sure the console's time and date match the actual date, otherwise the event won't appear. The best way to ensure this is to head to the system settings and synchronize the clock via the internet. Even if you time travel, just make sure you do this before you log in on Toy Day. Number 5. Mini Update once the 24th of December is here and Toy Day is due to start, it's as simple as making sure the title screen says version 1.6.0c, which indicates the requirements have been met for this event and the event has been activated. Now, if you follow these new guidelines, you should have no problems taking part in the upcoming Toy Day or any future events that are handled in the same way. If for some reason you meet these requirements and still can't see the events, make sure the latest update is installed and just power off your Switch rather than using sleep mode before trying again. Anyway, even though it's entirely possible to time travel back to events that have been previously locked like Turkey Day and Toy Day, it's much more exciting participating on the day alongside everyone else so hopefully these guidelines help you out, especially those of you who missed out on the harvest items last week. Of course, I'd like to give a huge thank you to Animal Crossing World for finding and sharing these details, as well as translating these guidelines. Be sure to head over there to check out a bunch of awesome Animal Crossing articles and guides, I'll leave the links below. But what do you think about these time locked events? Are you glad to see them locked behind the real world clock? And did you have any problems accessing the latest Turkey Day event? Let us know your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. 
Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe as I'm hoping to upload a bunch of new content throughout December leading up to the holidays that I hope you'll enjoy. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters as well as this channel's members. You guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do. I couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you made it to the end of the video, please comment time just to let me know you did. That would be super awesome. And please be sure to include whether or not you're looking forward to meeting Jingle and participating in Toy Day. I'd love to know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.